It is a blessing because I feel like I'm really lucky. You know, I do public art, which is something that's a little bit more tangible and has a budget normally. I enjoy that arena where it's working with the general public, not just people who come into the gallery, but uh, everyday people walking by and go, hmm, that's cool. The idea of transformation is really what hooked me. It's like taking something and molding it and changing it into something else and have that have a life of its own. My mom was an artist, so I had that in the family, I think, and I just saw the creativity that happened in everyday light, and that was the foundation. So I have my mom to thank or curse, not sure which. The first piece to go in. It enriches the value of that community in an economic sense, in that you're providing a, a structure that people want to come to. It's not a concrete jungle. It's uh, something that is full and rich and um, inviting people to get out of the houses and into the public. And it ha that has to do to me with a lot with the quality of life. So when we look back on uh, say Greek culture, you know, what do we look at? We, we look at the arts and how enriched those people are and engaged with their life and how they you know, brought beauty into the everyday, which has a lot to do with public sculpture. The campus has a broad, it's you know, multiple blocks. And so we have three series of arts pieces that go there. And I wanted to construct something that used a similar visual language as far as material, light, and you know, steel, glass, and light. And as a group, they are all made of core 10 steel, which is this type of steel they use for building bridges. And it's very, it's made to rust to a dark brown and have a protective coating that will last all the time. And then they have the sculpted glass. So we take green jade uh, float glass and, and sculpt it using a hammer, which flakes the edge and gives it a, a scalloped kind of look that mechanically pixelates the light. So it gives it a twinkle as you shine light from behind it. So that's the third element, the light. So they, having that commonality in material and design connects them as a group and makes them stronger as a whole. Each piece is pretty significant in its own right. The grist mill, I'll start there, is a big circular piece that rises about 10 feet tall and about seven feet wide at the base. And it is referential to the history of Edina and then we flip that grist mill you know, sideways, so it becomes a sort of beacon. It is full of light on its face, it's full of sculpted glass and, and, and steel fins that uh, go between the, the patterning of the grist mill. And the pergola has a 60-foot arch that goes along the back side and a 40-foot arch in the front and it radiates out, so it's really open and it works together with the fountain to create a complete circle and uh, the ends are, have the sculpted glass that are illuminated and the lights on the pillars coming up from the bottom. You know, it's called starry uh, pergola. To me it sort of feels like a starry night or something with all the dots. And it, and it really open to the sky, you know, it really celebrates your environment. And lastly, the Gang of Three is a set of three pillars, so three by three, um, that uh, are also seating elements, so you, right by the sidewalk, so you can come by and sit down there on some ePay benches. That one has a mass of glass at top, so it's a six inch by six inch block. You really get the sense of this material of glass and how the light kind of moves through it in a gradient and highlights where we've sculpted or chipped the edge, really catches the light there. And they work in series as well, the three together as you move by them, have a relationship to each other, and that's uh, changing the dynamic as you move through it. Trying to engage uh, and enrich pe everyday people's lives is very rewarding. I uh, get an extra spark out of when I'm installing something and someone comes by and makes a comment and how much they enjoy it or whatever it is, it's, uh, it's very rewarding for me.